Hey everyone, in this video I'll teach you how I take my hockey stick from the top to the bottom. If you're new here, I'm a certified math and physics teacher in Ontario who holds a master's degree in statistics. So let's start with the, the knob, the handle part. And I actually don't need to cut my sticks, they're at the right height, so it's about chin height um, on skates and that, that's good enough. Uh, men's league, yeah, I'm going to play a bit shorter because I want better hands. But uh, basically what I do is I cut my tape in half. There's many ways to do this. Uh, a knob, like there's an infinite number of ways. But I just rip it in half here. And if you want to be more precise, so at the beginning what you can do is you can just use scissors. And I'll rip my tape, try to be as precisely in half as possible here. So you see I just made a little dent like this try to be as in the middle as possible and I use this tape that's I have this since for a long time um, I'm probably gonna start buying other kinds just because it's cheaper so like Costco tape is probably good enough but now that I have my little rip I can rip it down the middle I'll just stick the one half back to the roll of tape and then pull the other half so you can see I have half tape I saw that they also make half rolls of tape for uh, things like this for the handle so now I just start taping the top here. So I align the tape with the top of the stick. So the rough edge I'll put at the bottom, the clean edge I'll put at the top here. And then I, I just wrap tightly around the top. You can round the corner. So make sure you do this because you want your butt end, like the, the piece of plastic at the end here to um, to not fall off, right? So you want to tape over it a little bit. I, I see a lot of players uh, lose their uh, pieces of plastic, so plugs at the end, they, they fall on the ice and you don't want that. So I'll just tape this and I'll probably speed up the video. Okay, so I've probably done about 10 turns or so with half tape. So what I'm gonna do is just, I'm just gonna rip it off. And now I have, you see that I have the other half of my tape that's a lot higher. So I've never seen anyone else do this, but it's a, a tr trick to save tape. So instead of throwing this out, I stopped at about half the thickness of handle that I wanted. So now I'm gonna use the other half of the roll of tape to tape the other half. At this stage of the process, you can just test it with your hand do whatever feels good. Is this big enough? You don't want your slick, your stick to slip out of your hand. Uh, this feels pretty good to me. So now I'll just cut the tape again, make sure it's flat, and then I'll tape the actual knob. For this part, I personally start at the top and go around at least once. And then as soon as you reach around, you don't want a bunch of uh, layers at the top. So I'm gonna start going at an angle. Maybe I can go like this. So you see that I'm going at about 45 degrees. You're gonna get some folds. Eventually you're gonna get less and less, but that won't, that won't dramatically influence your game, right? And then just make sure to get rid of the folds. And then you keep going at this angle. And then eventually you want to go down like this, right? Okay, so now I've got the angle. The first turn is the hardest. Now I just keep going down at this angle. Everyone likes different lengths of knobs, so I like at least a hand length, right? You want tape all over your glove, but some people like to go down a little bit more. I know some centermen like it to go down a little bit lower for face-offs, but it's up to you, right? So I'll, I'll just keep going a few turns. Okay, so I went about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, layers of tape down and then we want to end with a flat because right now it's at an angle so we want to end with like a flat so we come back to being uh, horizontal and then we'll do one more row of tape and then you see it lands pretty flat here here you can cut with scissors or you can do it with your hands but I'll do it with scissors so it's extra clean and you see that it's pretty clean cut and then you just fold it carefully so it looks sharp. Now you can press on it to get rid of most of the folds, but you can see that that's a pretty clean 
handle. Uh, I like the grippiness of this tape, that's why I keep using this. If you play competitive hockey, it might be a good idea to put some uh, your number with a sharpie here so your trainer knows what's your sticks, maybe a one and two, so you can differentiate your sticks, something like that. But now let's head over to the second part of the video where I tape the bleed of the stick. All right, so I have about this much tape left. I hope it's enough. Uh, I prefer to tape my stick all from about here to all the way to the toe. Some players stop here, Some everyone has a different tape job. Um, I like the all the way to the toe. It protects the end of your stick. Uh, I know my first sticks used to break, uh, like not break, but the fiberglass would peel off at the end. And I usually start here. I'm right-handed, keep that in mind, so that's gonna play a factor. So about here, it's you have to go with your feel. And then I just make sure it's uh, well stuck. Then I rotate the blade, pull. That's, that's the approximate angle. And then you want to move over by about half a um, half the width of the tape every time. And again, this is just feel. So my second layer, it's about half the width of the tape. And then keep the same angle. You don't want to go too far. So you see how now I'm I'm exactly at the width of the tape. My second row here. And then you just flip the blade and keep doing that until you reach the end. Just notice how you want these lines to be parallel, right? And about the same thickness. So that's a guide. You can kind of self-correct by adjusting the angle as you go. <clears throat> really thick curves or uh, spicy curves are harder to tape and so on. But again, you'll, you'll get experience and just get used to your stick after a while. Okay, so now we're at the end of the blade. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep going the same way and then we're gonna cut the tape off with scissors. So that's probably the best way to do it. That's how most players do it if they're gonna tape the toe. So you see that how I'm going all the way and then I'm just pinching the tape, of the excess tape at the ends. Then I flip the blade over, do the same thing, maintain the same width. Once you're finished with your tape, you can just cut it off and make a little square out of it. So you see how this is the excess tape we're gonna cut off. These aren't the best scissors, so you can probably find some better scissors out there, uh, but they still do the job. I've had them since I was playing midget and I play beer league now, so. Um, yeah, you just cut off. Sometimes it helps to pull on the excess tape and that's it. You might, you see that it does a pretty good job. Some people fold the tape, but I find that doesn't really work well. Then you can just flatten it with your fingers, but you see it does a pretty good job. I usually do this with my hand. It's pretty even. And this type of tape job lasts a long time. Goes with the flow of the snow when you skate, right? So it doesn't go against the green of when you skate forward. If you're a defenseman, it might be a bit di different, but you sk still skate forward most of the time. And then next, what, it, what I do is I put wax on, it helps to keep the water off, and I think it makes the puck stick a bit more. So I just use candle wax. I found these at a garage sale, maybe Dollarama a long time ago. So I just use candle wax, I put it at the bottom, because the bottom is where your tape is gonna tear off most easily. So I put a lot at the at the toe because I just do toe drags all the time. No, I'm kidding. I'm not a big toe drag guy. So I, I put a lot at the bottom because that's that's where you need the most. And then there's a thick layer and then for the blade, I've been using a different type of wax, but that's just because uh, I have it. So that's actual like hockey stick wax. I think I found it in the, in the arena somewhere. So I just put wax, like actual hockey wax on the blade part. It's more sticky, it does a better job. And you, I don't put that much on the actual tape. It just helps keep the water out. I really massage it in. And then on the top of the stick, uh, I played with a player that says white tape, you can't see it when you're 
handling the puck on the ice. So from your perspective, you only see the top of the stick and it blends in with the ice. So what he did is he wanted to use white tape, but he what he did was uh, darken the top of the tape job with the hockey puck. So that's kind of like my own little touch here. I stole that. I stole that from him. But you can see that now the top of the blade is dark. That's completely optional. It's more of a habit than anything at this point. And you can see that it's a pretty nice tape job. These are very durable. And I find it kind of like a meditative process to prepare before a game, tape your stick, make sure your weapon is ready. Oh, and by the way, I got this stick by returning some of my old hockey gear at Play It Again Sport. So Warrior Culvert. And yeah, I had a bag of old hockey gear that was sitting in my basement, decided to return it. It was something like $150 of value. So I, I got this stick for free and I bought a pair of nice sports shoes. And I, I've used this stick in the past, it's pretty good. Maybe you can let me know your thoughts on how you tape your stick, what kind of sticks you like, if you have any comments. And it's a little bit of a different video than the ones I'm used to, but I hope you've enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts, do all the YouTube things. And as always, thank you for doing the work. Mm -hmm.